Hello and welcome back to another video on Diablo 4. So now that I've hit a level 100 and I've been working on leveling glyphs on alts and stuff like that, I've been trying to figure out what the best nightmare dungeons are just in general and then which ones are really good for fast clears to level glyphs and then which ones are good for XP and items and then which ones are just good for items. And then here's what I found. Okay, so before we get started, there are only certain dungeons that can actually get a sigil for, so only certain ones can be nightmare dungeons, and the ones that are good, in my opinion, for my build at least, this might be different depending on what build you are, if you're ranged, melee, etc. So, uh, this list might be a little bit different for you, but for me as a druid, uh, Wraithwind Wilds, very good map. Blind Burrows, this is S tier, probably the best Nightmare Dungeon to get. Champion Demise, now this is a really good group map, this is a good farm map, this is just an all around good map. It's not too good solo, it does take quite a while solo, so I'd recommend only doing this one on group. Uh, these two are more soloable. Alder Wood, another good, good, good solo map, this is one of my tops. Uh, Alder Wood is a very good map for just everything in general. And it's also very fast and then whispering pines this one's okay it does take a little longer than the other maps but this one is generally a good map nice and easy mobs pretty good layout pretty straightforward okay here we go is another mall wood this one's another top map of mine uh this one is very nice to run on nightmare definitely want to be running your mall woods uh core dragon barracks this one's okay uh this one's not as bad as some of the other ones this one does have vampiric mobs and it does take a little bit longer than the other ones, but this one is notable. This one is pretty good. Demon's Wake, same as uh, Core Dragon Barracks. This one does take quite a bit of time, uh, but it is pretty much the same as Core Dragon. So this one is pretty good. Uh, Kaela's Mine, I have never gotten a Kaela's Mine or Alder Cave, so I don't believe these are on the possible sigil table, so that's unfortunate. We're going to go ahead and remove those, but if you get those, those are very nice maps, especially Alder's Cave, but I don't think they're on the works on the sigils, so. Uh, the next good map that is pretty good for loot, XP, etc., and just general running is Mogan Works. This one's very quick, straightforward, uh, very easy map, another one. And then the last one that is pretty good and short uh, is Feral's Den. So those are my good maps to just generally run on Nightmare for, you know, loot uh, and things like that. So if you're trying to get like uh, Shaco or something like that, I, I, I do Blind Burrows with Magic Vine. I find Blind Burrows is the best one. Uh, very fast run. Uh, you can clear up to the boss, all the way to the boss, and then reset for Magic Vine runs. It's just a very good map. Uh, it's short, straight to the point. The map never changes. You run one direction the whole time. Very good map. Uh, so Blind Burrows is gonna be my number number one map in the game. So, all right, let's go down to what I consider the best maps to run for speed and efficiency and leveling your glyphs. So my top five nightmare dungeons to run for leveling glyphs would be at number five, Abandoned Mine Works. All right, let me go ahead and pull the map up for that. All right, so here's the Abandoned Mine Works map. So you see you start here and then you run up and you kind of just go up and go around the circle, kill the kill the elite, come around here, kill these, come up here and then do the little like mini thing, mini event that spawns. And then you're just gonna simply come up here and clear each pathway. You're gonna kill something here, come up here, kill something here, come over here, kill something there, and that's the end of the dungeon. So that's that's a that's abandoned mine works. Very fast, straightforward map. Uh, pretty much no backtracking unless you want to clear like that extra little pack on the loop. But there's really no point to do that if you're just trying to level glyphs. You just get to the objective, kill objective, kill objective, uh, do event, kill, 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 done. So very straightforward map. Uh, that's going to be number five on my list. Hey, just real quick during the video, I wanted to put out this reminder. Hey, guys, can you please subscribe to the channel? Please uh, su uh, subscribe. It helps the algorithm. Uh, we did bring it down by over an entire percent from the last time I asked you guys to do this. So it really does work. So I'm asking again, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget. Uh, you can turn off notifications. That doesn't hurt my feelings. Just be subscribed. It really helps the algorithm. Share the video. Like the video etc really help uh the algorithm thank you so much for your guys support we're growing extremely fast 
uh we're almost past 2,000 subscribers already it's kind of insane to me so guys thank you so much for all your support all right let's get back to the video all right so now we got number four and that's going to be mallwood this map is very fast straightforward uh pretty good uh it's okay pretty decent map i i definitely give this one my number four spot so let's pull this map up okay so now we got the mallwood map up so you can see the entrance is here so you're just going to come in you're going to clear the first loop and then go around here clear the second loop clear a third loop and then once you've killed the i forget what they're called but you kill some things uh and then you move on to the event area which is here clear the event whatever that might be come in here I normally go left first uh, and just follow the left wall and then do the objectives uh, you'll, you'll you'll see objectives on the map it'll be like a skull so you're looking for the skulls and quickly just dispose of the skulls and that's it that's the map that's literally all of Mallwood it's very straightforward again very simple map another easy easy map for leveling your glyphs all right let's move on to the next one which is earth wound this is going to be my third map for leveling your glyphs okay so now we have earthen wound this one is pretty straightforward you come in you t hug the right i always stay right in this one and then you're just going to kill the objectives stay to the right stay to the right and then you're going to come up here now when you do get past the the mini event the little event whatever it might be uh always check the left and right room uh normally it's going to be on their left hand side uh, and this second part here so always check the left room so you don't have to backtrack and then if it's not here it's definitely here okay so it's one of these platforms keep that in mind so you don't have to backtrack from up here because what you're going to do is you're going to kill whichever platform normally it's the bottom one so you're going to kill here come up and then kill the remaining two here collect their stuff and then put it in the urn and then go kill the boss and that's earthen wound very again just very straightforward very fast map uh, nothing really to it that's going to be number three uh, let's go ahead and move on to number two so this one is alderwood this is a very good map one of my favorite maps very close to waypoint very fast map let's pull up the dungeon map right now okay so now we have alderwood here and this is the entrance so it's up to you which direction you want to go to start off but i normally just go to the right first and then i take the first right so you come in first right go here click kill this come up clear the pack come back down go in here go down up clear this pack kill this and then the gate should be open and then once you open the gate you're going to come up here and then you're going to clear to the left there we go so you're going to clear to the left here and then you're going to just go up here you can clear this pack if you want but i normally just go straight there as you're trying to level glyphs as quickly as possible so again the route entrance here come up stay to the right hug the right hug the right hug the right out go down go down go down circle same thing up and then take a left kill that pack if you want and then boss so yeah that's that's alderwood that's a very fine map love that map good flute good good packs of elites just very good map in general and then last but not least is going to be blind burrows now this one is pretty straightforward it is blind burrows this is literally my favorite map so let me go ahead and pull up the dungeon okay so now we got the dungeon up so here's the entrance it's going to allow you to take a right or a left you uh, want to take the right path and then drop down and then just stay again to your left hand side follow the left you're gonna kill whatever's there it might be an event it's random so if it's there kill it if it's an event skip it and then come down here same thing backtrack go up here same thing backtrack come up here keep following the wall follow the wall follow the wall and then you're gonna meet at the last objective and then that should open the door here and then do mini event there walk through here kill pack of elites if it's there and then go to the boss and that's blind burrows the easiest best map in the game to mine in my opinion this is the best map in the game it's got the easiest mobs brain dead mobs it's got a lot of elite packs it's got spiders that are worth full xp for some reason even when they small spawn smaller spiders a really good xp cave good loot cave good everything cave this is it this is the best uh, map in the game in my opinion uh now if you just want loot 
you're going to want to do iron hold, but iron hold's not a sigil, so uh, blind burrows is going to be the best for nightmare farming, in my opinion. Uh, very easy map. Uh, there are some bonus maps. Uh, I will go ahead and mention. I'm not going to show them, but Feral's Den. Uh, I did. I did do a run of Feral's Den. Uh, it's quite. It's it's okay. It's pretty good. And then Mogan's work is another good one. So these two are just. They're okay. They're quick. Don't delete these. Uh, sigils are not easy to come by. Sigil dust is hard to come by, and crafting good maps is even harder to come by. So ideally, you want to be stacking your sigils. Uh, let's pull up the game so I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, so if you look here in the beginning of this video, you can see I'm highlighting my sigils. So you see there I have two mall woods. Uh, so when you're crafting sigils and or just finding them, if you find any on my list, all right, or you craft any on my list, I suggest you put them aside until you have like several of them saved up. And then what you do is you go in and you start, like say I start this one, right? And then I finish it. And then you just teleport out to the entrance of the dungeon and then you can immediately start the next one. So you can chain them together for quicker progression, uh, just more efficiency. But it is very hard to get the sigil dust even if you're doing the nightmare reset and farming like blind burrows, for example, or alderwood or whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it does take quite a while to get sigil dust. It, it, it takes a long time, okay? So being really picky and choosy about which maps you do is kind of not, you can't, you really can't because you, you don't have enough sigil dust to just keep crafting and recrafting and salvaging and crafting uh, new sigils when you don't have one you want. So you're going to have to do some of the ba like bad sigils to in order to have enough materials to get the new ones so i really suggest that you look at my nightmare uh, dungeon reset method and reset like blind burrows with magic find uh and just farm sigil dust literally farm sigil dust and then uh, you can start making sigils that way uh, or you can just run some of the bad ones uh, that's why i listed a couple bonus ones and that's the the other reason i listed all you know all the ones that are worth running so like if you get any of these on this list uh wraith one wilds blind burrows champion demise alderwood whispering mallwood core dragon demons mogans ferals i would run every single one of those i wouldn't salvage any of these these are all good maps uh and you know easy to do so ideally you want to be stacking as many mallwoods earthwoods alderwoods and blind burrows as possible uh and you want to you know chain chain them as quickly as possible so but i know with limited sigil dust it's hard to do that so i did mention all the ones i recommend that you do and those are relatively good maps so <clears throat> now if you just want to farm uh a nightmare dungeon for gear uh you're already let's say you're already level 100 like myself and you want to just farm for gear uh or you're trying to push uh if i was trying to push blind burrows would be the map I push uh, all the other maps all these maps have range mobs uh, mine works has range mobs uh, Mallwood has the little thorn guys they can really mess you up so does earthwood and alderwood so if you're trying to push uh, the map I'd push on is blind burrows 100% blind burrows um, that's it and uh, yeah that's gonna pretty much be the guide for today so hopefully that helps you guys and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. All right, so if you look here in the beginning of this video, you can see I'm highlighting my sigils. So you see there I have two mall woods. Uh, so when you're crafting sigils and or just finding them, if you find any on my list, all right, or you craft any on my list, I suggest you put them aside until you have like several of them saved up. And then what you do is you go in and you start, like say I start this one, right? And then I finish it. And then you just teleport out to the entrance of the dungeon and then you can immediately start the next one. So you can chain them together for quicker progression, uh, just more efficiency. But it is very hard to get the sigil dust even if you're doing the nightmare reset and farming like blind burrows, for example, or alderwood or whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it does take quite a while to get sigil dust. It, it, it takes a long time, okay? So 
being really picky and choosy about which maps you do is kind of not you can't you really can't because you, you don't have enough sigil dust to just keep crafting and recrafting and salvaging and crafting uh, new sigils when you don't have one you want so you're gonna have to do some of the ba like bad sigils to in order to have enough materials to get the new ones so i really suggest that you look at my nightmare uh, dungeon reset method and reset like blind burrows with magic find uh and just farm sigil dust literally farm sigil dust and then uh you can start making sigils that way uh or you can just run some of the bad ones uh that's why i listed a couple bonus ones and that's the the other reason i listed all you know all the ones that are worth running so like if you get any of these on this list uh wraith one wilds blind burrows champion demise alderwood whispering Mallwood, Core Dragon, Demons, Mulligans, Ferals. I would run every single one of those. I wouldn't salvage any of these. These are all good maps uh, and, you know, easy to do. So ideally, you want to be stacking as many Mallwoods, Earthwoods, Alderwoods, and Blind Burrows as possible. Uh, and you want to, you know, chain, chain them as quickly as possible. So, but I know with limited Sigil Dust, it's hard to do that, so... I did mention all the ones I recommend that you do. And those are relatively good maps, so. <clears throat> now, if you just wanna farm uh, a nightmare dungeon for gear, uh, you're already, let's say you're already level 100 like myself, and you want to just farm for gear, uh, or you're trying to push. Uh, if I was trying to push, Blind Burrows would be the, ma the map I push. Uh, all the other maps, all these maps have range mobs, uh, Mineworks has range mobs. Uh, Mallwood has the little thorn guys. They can really mess you up. So does Earthwood and Alderwood. So if you're trying to push, uh, the map I'd push on is Blind Burrows. 100% Blind Burrows. Um, that's it. And uh, yeah, that's going to pretty much be the guide for today. So hopefully that helps you guys. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.